Give us some gas. Why do you think we came over here for? Sick. I've been all day. You send it fine over the phone. How do you like my new car? I bought it last week. Would you like to buy it? It's nice, but I can make money off the other one. What's your sudden need for money? I wanted to get away with my wife. Your wife wants to get away? She's wanted to for the past 10 years. And so now I'm going to, whether she wants to or not. What do I owe you? You know, I've realized something's been up. That's do, why I want to get away. What do I owe you? A dollar twenty. You know, I'll give you the car. I'll send it over tomorrow afternoon. What a wonderful suite. Open more windows. There are no more windows. Well, we better call for an axe. Just forget about the heat. You only make it worse when you complain. Leave her alone, old sport. You're the one that wants to be here. What's with this old sport business? Leave her alone. So, Mr. Gatsby, I heard you went to Oxford. Yes, I did say that. Uh, In 1919, it was an opportunity given to me by some officers. Unfortunately, I always take it for five months, so I can't really call myself an Oxford. Hold on, Miss Key Tom, let me get a mint up. Maybe then you won't seem so stupid to yourself. Hold on, I want to ask Mr. Gatsby one more question. Go ahead. What kind of trouble are you attempting to cause in my house? He's not causing any trouble, you are. Please control yourself. Control myself? There's nobody a man is sleeping with my wife and you want me to control myself? Today's people start by laughing at family life because it's hardly there. And Vic said, you know, the varying beasts because they don't want to deal with a partner and children. Then the whole human race goes extinct. I don't, do, I don't throw gigantic parties as raids and such, but I guess I have to in order to make friends. In this modern world, that is. Now let me just tell you something about sport. Please don't go there. Let's, let's just all go home. Okay, come on, let's go home. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Let's, let's just go home. No one wants to get a drink, Tommy. No, I want to hear what Mr. Gatsby has to say. You, your wife doesn't love you. She never has. She loves me. Sit down, Daisy. Tell me what's been going on. She never loved you. She loved you, did you hear me? She only loved you because I was poor and was tired of waiting for me. It was a mistake she made, but she still has always loved me. Daisy, what's been going on? I told you what's been going on. It's been going on for the past five years. We couldn't meet, but we love each other. Oh, that's it? Please don't. There, Jay. Oh! I want you too much! You just... I loved you, and like, I still do, and like, I love you now, but like, isn't this enough? Yeah. You love me too? That's a lie. She never loved you. Her and I have, her and I have done things that you will never experience, and that we will never forget. I want to speak to Daisy alone. She's too excited, and isn't... I can't say I wouldn't, that I never loved Tom. It wouldn't be true. Of course it wouldn't. As if you cared. I do care, and from now on, I'm going to start caring about you more. You don't understand. You're not going to take care of her anymore. I'm not? Now why is that? Because Daisy's leaving you. That's ridiculous. I am, though. You're not leaving me. That's all, folks.
Your wife doesn't love you. She never has. She loves me. You must be taking something. She never loved you, Jeremy. Never. Ah! <laughs> the mock.